Well, as the war in Israel stretches into a third week, the Pentagon is taking action against other militant groups, using this conflict as a chance to attack U.S. personnel. U.S. fighter jets carried out airstrikes in southeast Syria late last night. Those strikes ordered by President Biden that they hit weapons and ammo facilities there, used by Iranian-backed militia groups. These groups have attacked U.S. troops in Syria and Iraq repeatedly over the past two weeks, so this is the American response to that. For more, let's go to our White House correspondent, Serena Marshall, with the very latest. Morning, Serena. Good morning, Rob. And since the start of this conflict, since Israel was attacked October 7th, the administration's been warning that this conflict could expand, and they've been trying to prevent it, but now taking those warnings, turning them into action. In a targeted strike, the Pentagon announcing they went after both ammunition storage facilities and weapons storage facilities in Syria. In a statement from Pre uh, Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin, he said these narrowly tailored strikes in self-defense were intended solely to protect and defend U.S. personnel in Iraq. Iraq and Syria. They're separate and distinct from the ongoing conflict between Israel and Hamas and do not constitute a shift in our approach to the Israel-Hamas conflict. American forces in Iraq and Syria have been targeted almost daily by rocket and drone fire and the Pentagon press secretary saying earlier this week that they were seeing a prospect for more significant escalation in those strikes that they've seen against U.S. personnel, at least 12 attacks in Iraq, four in Syria, 21 U.S. personnel receiving minor injuries in those two in two separate attacks earlier this week, and 19 people of those 21 having traumatic brain injuries. All have now returned to active duty, but Austin added, while the U.S. does not seek to expand this conflict, we will not hesitate to take further necessary action or measures to protect our people. People. And this follows a warning that President Biden gave directly to Ayatollah Khomeini in Iran earlier this week. My warning to the Ayatollah was that if they continue to move against those troops, we will respond and he should be prepared. Now, these airstrikes follow the Pentagon announcing uh, just yesterday that 900 American military personnel have been deployed to the Middle East region, not giving out locations for security reasons. They either said they have already deployed or in the process of deploying, and that is in addition to those two carrier strike groups that are already in the region. Rob? White House correspondent Serena Marshall reporting there outside the White House. Thank you, Serena.